now at just 17, Ramon Curry has seen an awful lot of change. Frustrated over the killing of George Floyd, Ray snuck out of his home and went to protest in uptown Charlotte last June. He was there when protesters blocked traffic on 277 and came toe to toe with police. An adult started encouraging him and others to lash out against police. Oh, at this point, I'm ready to die. But another man intervened, grabbing Ray, who was at the time just 16. That man encouraging him to help solve problems that generations before have not. So what I need you to do right now at 16 is come up with a better way. Like how we doing it? It ain't working. You were given a hefty challenge that went viral. That challenge was basically to find a better way to solve the problem between the races. It's a big challenge. So we haven't gotten far, I understand, because we haven't figured it out yet. That's not something that just happens overnight, you know, like, like we talk about. It's something that as we go on with life, it's something we gotta, you know, just build upon. Like we find what we're going through, okay, find a solution to it, at least find somewhere where we can meet halfway. For me, I tell myself, be the first step. You know, not a lot of people got that courage or that mentality to take the first step into actually going out and making a change. So for me, I'm like, all right, so you know, they, they rely on you, you're the leader of your generation. So what can you do to better on this world that we live in? Because you're you're the next, you're basically the next generation. You're after you know, their generation gone, next is you, they rely on you. Like Ray Cal Johnson says, it was another black man who made a difference for him. Working in a uh, hospitality and culinary industry. So like I said, I haven't been doing this since I was 13. Like I've been working in kitchens since I was 14. Like that's like in terms of profession, that's all I've ever known in the entirety of my short life. Um, and so I don't think I really noticed much of a difference in like how I had to act or how I was treated until when I was 19, I got a job at this like very upscale. At the time, it was like the best restaurant in New Orleans. Um, and I realized, wow, this is the first time, like, there was a black sous chef. That was the first time I've ever seen a, a black chef in a fine dining restaurant, like someone in leadership. And, like, it was black, like, black, black. Yeah. <laughs> and, what, what, what do you mean by black, black? Like, like, you know, he's like, hey, yo, bro, what's up? My name is C. Yes. He's like, don't call me chef. My name is C. I was like, oh, shoot, that's, that's how it is? Yes. And, you know, it was, I was like, and immediately, like, I felt more comfortable. And... It's like at that moment, I realized like I've been holding my breath for the entirety of my time working here. Since a kid, like I've worked a lot of events and stuff with like, you know, some top guys and, you know, like none of them look like me at all. And I realized there was a certain way I acted, like there was a certain way I tried to carry myself. But like, you know, there's, you know, obviously you should always carry yourself with respect. You should always carry yourself with pride, you know, and stuff like, you know, be together. But, like, there was something extra I was adding to myself when I realized that there was, there was this black sous chef in leadership. Like, I was still myself. Like, you know, I was, I was still this cook that was doing this thing. But, like, I could be 100% of who I was. And so now, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a young black man in a place of leadership in this field. And I'm like, all right, if any other black person ever works for me, like, I got to make sure I bring that level of comfort to them. I got to make sure that they're coming in. They can be their full, their full self. As close as they can be at times to their comfort zone, these men worry they're watching it all unravel unless something changes. We got to do better. I just think that there will be some sense of of change there. What must change um, in their own words? I bought 